Welcome to the Virtual Reality Mechanics video. I'll be your host, your very own fruit. If you want to know more about this game in general, check out the trailer and Steam Store page. First, we will go over room scale mechanics with tracked controllers, which is the recommended setup. Look at the labels on your track controllers. The cursor is what we want to navigate menus. Wiggle it around a bit if you don't see the cursor at first. If you have an HTC Vive, you'll start in room scale mode, otherwise sitting mode. You can change modes in the input config menu option. You can reset your seated position in the effects config menu option. In room scale mode, there will always be a floor beneath you, the size of your playing area. Lift the track controller above your head to bring up the inventory, and drop it on the floor to pause the game. Look at the controllers for more options, like the side buttons to switch weapons. A teleporting device is given to all new virtual reality players. It shoots a ball you can teleport to. In room scale mode, you can quickly access the teleport device with the analog control labeled Move. When pressed, the ball will fire in that direction. When released, you'll teleport to it. This allows you to quickly move backwards, side to side, even over walls without having to look in that direction. The oriented action button handles a few different things, depending on where you point the track controller and press the button. Facing up will toggle stealth mode, and different sides will bring up your skill points, quests, or guidance. Facing forward will attempt to steal and down for the map. If you are playing seated, use your mouse or track controller's analog control to look around. In mix mode, which works best standing or with an omni treadmill, you will have to turn yourself around and the heads up display will follow you. While standing or sitting, you can use the teleport device, your track controller's analog control or keyboard to move. If you just have a keyboard, we recommend using the default virtual reality keyboard mapping in the input config screen, which will group all controls together for easier access. If you have performance problems, try disabling effects in the effects config menu. If you have any questions or feedback, please let me know in the forum. Thank you for watching and enjoy.